Shelter worker spots a problem with all the older dogs before coming up with a genius solution. Everyone loves puppies with their wobbly little legs, baby soft fur and squeaky little barks. They're oh so irresistible. But that's exactly why a shelter filled exclusively with puppies is an unrealistic scenario. It's elderly mutts that often overcrowd most kennels. The sad reality is that most adopters are only seeking out youthful pups, leaving the old dogs to a tragic fate. Thankfully, one shelter volunteer stepped up to do something about it. Sherry Franklin radiated the same warmth as her home state of California, and she directed it toward Mother Nature's furriest gifts. Sherry was always an animal advocate, but she knew she could do more to protect these pups. Sherry dedicates most of her time to doggos despite not even having one herself. She originally started volunteering as a dog walker at the San Francisco SPCA, where she gleefully walked dogs five to six days a week. Funny enough, Sherry wasn't always drawn to animal shelters, but in a run-in with Lonely Kitty may have been the gravitational pull that she needed to realize her destiny as a friend to pets everywhere. One day I found a cat and I took him into the animal shelter and I heard the dogs barking and I thought, I have to leave here, I can't deal with this, Sherry said. As I left, I realized I needed to deal with this because that's the reality. Once she started dedicating large chunks of her time to the sweet mutts at the SPCA, she couldn't stop. But there was just one thing she witnessed at the shelter that made her quiver with her tail tucked between her legs. I'd see potential adopters come to look at the dogs and I'd see them walk right by the old dogs and barely even look at them. She regretfully explained. Sherry then started dedicating her precious time to walking the senior pups. But walks alone weren't enough, so Sherry took action. I started taking home dogs considered unadoptable because they weren't showing well in the kennel or were too old or had skin conditions that couldn't be treated in a kennel environment, she explained. All her hard work earned her the nickname Fairy Godmother. While most people saw her efforts as grueling, Sherry loved every second of it. In her kind, giving eyes, there's such a beauty in older animals. Sherry was 49 years old around this time, so not only were the dogs not getting any younger, but neither was she. She always imagined running her own animal sanctuary, and the universe was giving Sherry signs that her time to make those furry fantasies a reality was now. Sherry was already on the Animal Care and Welfare Commission, had a background in dog training, and having been a hairstylist meant she could make her own schedule. It seemed that the waters were parting for Sherry and her beloved rickety mutts. In 2007, Sherry Franklin started Muttville, a nonprofit organization focused on finding homes for older dogs and ones with health issues. While ageism and ableism have their claws hooked deep into humans, Sherry wasn't going to let them destroy the lives of innocent animals. I had clients who were attorneys who helped us with all the nonprofit steps and clients who knew how to work on grants and clients who helped us set up fantastic website Sherry said about her diligent supporters Although she originally had the idea of creating a dreamy spa like doggy sanctuary Sherry ditched that idea in order to adopt out dogs rather than just collect them She wanted to save as many lives as possible There are people willing to open their homes and hearts and willing to take in a really sweet dog Willing to give them love for a year or however long they've got sherry said Whilst the cage-free muttville mostly deals with northern California dogs the organization has taken in dogs from as far away as Korea No dog is too inconvenient for sherry's help Being the executive director of muttville has even improved sherry's previously deteriorating optimism regarding society as she used to regularly watch people neglect dogs left and right it was fundamentally depressing After working in shelters and seeing people drop off their old pets or abandoning their pets You start to get the idea that people suck she said, but now sherry gets a look at the warm-hearted side of humanity For her work sherry received the Jefferson Award for public service in 2010 and was graciously awarded at the CNN heroes gala in 2016 as well renowned actor and animal lover Neil Patrick Harris actually presented her with the award the rescue work that Sherry's accomplished served not only the dogs, but also the adopters. I've had so many people come back and tell me how their Muttville dog had changed their life, Sherry said.